Hey guys, I am Coach Erica. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm also a competitive bodybuilder and I also breed service dogmans and exotic pit bulls. Um, so a little bit about me, I do different things, anywhere from training my clients and anywhere from strength and conditioning to weight loss to just functional fitness to doing my own shows to keeping up with my four dogs at home. It requires a lot of energy, so I am a tightening patient for that reason because they are absolutely the reason what's keeping me going and keeping me not just going but also at optimal levels. So I have a couple different things that I do take on top of the uh, blood work that I do every so often just to make sure my levels are good which is really interesting because I did my blood work I was kind of feeling a little sluggish just wanted to see how things were doing make sure everything was right and you know you know you should do this at least once a year anyways it was about that time I went and got it done and my testosterone was super super low which is a big reason why I was feeling extreme fatigue I wasn't recovering properly I still just wasn't getting there so it was actually my testosterone being super low that once we found out Titan was able to prescribe me the proper things and get me back to optimal levels. So on top of the blood work, which you should do every once, once a year at least, I do my ECAs daily. So my ECAs are my bread and butter. They give me nice clean energy. I do it first thing in the morning. It gets me right into my fasted cardio. After that, I go to walk the dogs. I go to talk with my clients all day and I am up and going. There's no crash. It's just clean, positive energy. And then for my workouts, I do my Hercules potion, which is gonna be a pre-workout. And I get the most phenomenal pumps when I do these workouts, especially like in my competitive stage right now. It's really nice to see where muscles are gonna be optimizing, which ones I need to focus more on. So having that pump right before that workout really gets them going. I can really see where I need to focus on and what's already improving and what's not. So recovery is really, really important. And for that, I focus on, and I completely rely on my glutathione. My glutathione is a daily injectable. I take it every single day to make sure that I'm staying at optimal levels for not only just me, my clients, but also for my little family of my fur babies. So <laughs> I definitely gotta make sure I take care of them because if I don't, who will? Right now during my competitive stage, I did actually try that fat burning cream and it helps tighten the skin around. I use it on my legs as well for my competition for wellness. I also use it on my stomach and it has been such a big help and just kind of a little extra push. But you don't have to necessarily be a bodybuilder, you don't have to be a competitor, you don't have to be a strength and conditioning coach in order to use these products. This is for everyone and I always recommend all my clients, get your blood work done, get some extra help, make sure your recovery is going good, make sure your blood work's done, all your levels are good. And you know, you can use a little extra help. Like ECAs are gonna be a great thing. If instead of getting that extra cup of coffee, Getting too much coffee can mess up your adrenal glands, so having this in there, it's a clean energy. It's not gonna do too much damage in your body in the sense of caffeine, or going for that extra cup, or going for that extra Red Bull. Extra calories, extra caffeine, doing a lot of stuff for your body that you don't really have to do. And then also like with glutathione, glutathione is gonna be a great thing for recovery. And it doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, I'm exercising so much, I'm doing too much. Just your general day to day. You do a lot every single day from getting up, taking care of the kids, going to school, making sure the house is together, running around with your friends. That takes energy and your body needs to recover properly from that. So it's not just for competitor bodybuilders, it's not just for fitness athletes. Every single person can optimize at being their optimal level because you don't wanna just look good, you wanna feel good. What's up guys, John here, and uh, I've got Titan mascot Sasha with me too. And we're just out here taking a walk, right? Um, you know, Sasha has to go out, she needs to get some fresh air. You know, I gotta take her out to go potty from time to time. So we always get a walk in, especially down here in beautiful Channel Side where Titan Medical Center is located. It's awesome, very dog friendly down here and awesome to be with as far as walking around and getting a good amount of fresh air and getting some cool scenery to go with it. At this point we're just walking around down here, enjoying beautiful Channel Side, getting Sasha some fresh air. Right, take her for a little potty break and having a good time doing it. Right, Sasha? Of course, these people got all these bikes down here, right? 
And it's great to get on one of these bikes and have some fun. But when we're talking about going outside, especially with your pet, your fur baby, right? It's good to get the steps in. So what the average American should be walking is between 7,000 and 13,000 steps a week, right? And at that point, they should be doing exercise between 150 minutes and 300 minutes a week. Vigorous exercise, half of that, okay? So if you're not getting vigorous exercise in, that's okay, that's all right. If you need somewhere to start, that's okay, that's all right too. So we're gonna show you what to do. Just take a step and start walking. It doesn't have to be fast. You don't have to power walk. A lot of people do that. And that's something you can get up to, right? That's something you work your way up. At this point, if you have no exercise activity going on, get outside, get some fresh air, bring your fur baby and go on a walk. Walk around your neighborhood, you know? If, if you're in your office all day, get outside the office, walk around the block, right? Get some fresh air, get some sunlight. If you have your fur baby, go have a good time with them. They love to explore and they love to go outside. And don't keep them cooped up all day long. It's not good for the dog and it's not good for you. So at that point, treat yourself better, right? Get yourself out there, get yourself some activities, be healthier, and you will be healthier by doing this. It's a guy and his dog, enjoying the day. Getting some fresh air out here, enjoying it. Nice little sunlight. Sasha's having a good time doing it too. That's what it's all about. Let's get up and enjoy some more of Channel Side. Come on, heal. Let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille, one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to give you a quick rundown of one of my favorite therapies that we offer here called Titan Complete. In the Titan Complete, this is an injectable therapy that goes into the muscle tissue, which is gonna give you a lot better bioavailability and usage of these components in the body. This will consist of your full B complex, of your vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 12. So that'll help with natural energy, inflammation, digestion, cholesterol. It also has your brain's chain amino acids in there to help with muscle and tissue recovery, along with your L-carnitine and MYC, which is your methionine, inositol, and choline. Those are gonna help with fat and cholesterol mobilization to assist with fat loss. So it's all around a great, great therapy. If you're interested, please give us a call 727-389-3220 or visit titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? I'm Sharice. For the first time I get to say it. And then this is John and it's his 42nd birthday today. So everybody out there say happy birthday to John. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a blessing in the sky to have this amazing man in all of our lives. Everybody that's standing here right now benefits from John being here every single day because he is a blessing in our lives. Am I lying? I'm not lying. He's always a blessing. He's always a blessing, right? Every single day and every minute and every hour of every day, he's a blessing. So I want to tell you I love you. I know your son loves you. I know your mom loves you. Your dad loves you. My mom loves you. Neil and Rachel love you and Sasha love you and so is Zoe and Vienna. They couldn't make it tonight. They're hanging out at the house. And they're holding it down over there. Yeah. What do you got to say? So blessed to be here, 42nd year on this earth, planet, and uh, blessed to have my family here, blessed to have my son, blessed to have Titan Medical Center, and uh, blessed to have all my friends out there that support us and, and uh, have shown me love on my birthday. So, you know, I'm very humbled about that. I appreciate everybody. I definitely appreciate my family and these times that we spend together and make these beautiful memories. And uh, that's it. So hopefully I have a lot more birthdays to come and hopefully you'll be a part of it too. So follow us along as we go eat at Kobe Steakhouse for an awesome tight medical center, Socorro's family dinner. Don't Let's go. worry, I'll make sure we get the, the hat on his head. It's going on there with the drums. We'll this see about that. Baby boy. <laughs> He's a baby. My parents are here, my baby son's boy. here. He's a baby. Teresa's mom is here. <laughs> yep. So let's go inside and enjoy a family Let's meal. go. Happy let's birthday. go. Thank you. Come on. All right.
So we're here, Kobe Steakhouse, with the family, and this has been a big tradition through the years. Every Valentine's Day started out with Cherie's birthdays, my birthday, Peter's birthday, my dad's birthday. We always come to Kobe's, come here, eat a great meal, spend some time together, and get a great show, because if you've been to Kobe's, you know it's all about the show and all about the chef that's doing all the tricks. And you get to see some cool tricks if you come here a lot. Because, you know, they've got the ones that are like, the basic ones, and that's what I call it, like the volcano and the train or whatever it may be. But some of these guys do some other tricks, and they'll break some different things, they'll catch some different things in their hat, in their whatever hat. Yeah, so spin it on their back. It's always a good time, and like I said, it's a Secor tradition to always come here. We've upgraded Eddie D's on some of the big parties and some of the big birthday nights for me, but sometimes we like to come back to our roots and come back to something like this, where we can all sit here, eat great food, and enjoy the company and uh, celebrate whatever the- So tell them what you is. like to eat here. What do you like to eat? So for me, I like to get the steak. Now you would think the New York strip is gonna be better because it's an upgrade, but here it's not. So I get the sirloin, save yourself some money. And then lobster for sure. And then I want to get their noodles 100%. When I was growing up, they used to have a Kobe's back up north. It was like only one location. And when I was a kid, I used to come down to Florida because they used to love north. So I'd come down here on vacation and stuff like that. And we'd always eat the Kobe's in Orlando. And that was like the original one. And then they started breaking off and doing them all over the place. So uh, their, their soup is phenomenal, especially if you're sick or getting over something. I don't like any any other soups except for the ones from Kobe. So that tells you something. But you know, so we're gonna enjoy this. I can't wait to see the show and uh, eat some good food because I'm starving. How's it going folks? Cass here, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. Wanted to talk to you folks today about boosting your overall health. How do we do that? We have a treatment, it's called Triimmune. This Triimmune Booster is an intermuscular injection. It utilizes some really important ingredients such as vitamin C, zinc, and glutathione. Glutathione is an essential antioxidant that can help you stay healthy, it cleans up the liver, helps boost your immune system, it's good for inflammation reduction in the body, so essentially, you want to have your glutathione levels strong. In addition to that, vitamin C. We all know the importance of vitamin C, especially during the winter months. You want to stay healthy, vitamin C can help you do that. And last, zinc. Zinc has been shown to shorten the duration of the common cold, something that you want to have done when you're looking to boost your overall wellness and health. So try immune boost, intermuscular injections, something we can go over in detail. Give us a call. We can set up an appointment, 727-389-3220. Hope to hear from you. Stay healthy out there.
What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here, we're going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we want to make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about teamwork teamwork makes the dream work definitely does 100 percent. teamwork goes in every avenue of life pretty much um you know whether you're in a relationship right and you're in your job you probably work with team members um if you play sports you have team members there um so at that point like it's a really important thing and even let's talk about relationships teamwork is very very important and the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys you aren't should. working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot could. of people don't. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together you guys start collaborating. You guys start planning things. You guys start doing these different things together. Um, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, the, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job. So maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally. Like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode and it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, yeah. where let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here, without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean, It's you know, common, I think. It is common, you know, I mean, but even in the light of where some people, they just... They compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married, for sure, 100%. Even if you guys are in a, a dating relationship or girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um, it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right? right. The only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave and Buster's and then you really do compete. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know how many are, whoever gets the most baskets, <laughs> whoever oh. wins the Mario Kart. <laughs> Then you compete, okay? Outside of Dave and Buster's, no competing. It's okay Go to have some, some fun competition <laughs> in games. But, you know, in all seriousness, when you guys are doing serious things or, you know, you guys are making serious decisions, that's when the team comes into effect. And now one team member might be better at one thing than the other, right? But that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, Kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna go to soccer, I'm gonna do basketball, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna do dinner at eight. You know, like, and then you're working as a team, so everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind of to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes. Just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But it's, you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, it has to get done, right? It's not, it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, 
Um, but, you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team. Everybody's on the same page. You're communicating. But teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the same exact thing, mm-hmm. too. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. You know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, 100 bucks every week. Your check, 100 bucks every week. Guess what? We have money going on vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This mm-hmm. is teamwork makes dream work. Going right mm-hmm. back to it. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like, you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. If you guys are on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that because it's a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the floor, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or hey, I got a pick coming, you know. Or they got a up. wink or something, you know. Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so, you know, they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about, you know, your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner a know. A nice kick under the table works well, too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, we need to get out of this situation. It's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't guys, even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You know, you have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe they were bad ones at that time. And you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And it. you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal or you had to get. overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's mean, huge. I, I, I think that's, a, that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, right? it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, not. ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals, yeah. it, it, what one does affects the, the other. For sure. Regardless, if For you sure. think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, you look at it, you guys are bonded in all of those platforms. Yeah. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. got, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but uh, probably not. You can you can d- definitely tell within I, I would say the first month or so of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They, you know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them, and not just a one way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that, or people out there where it's a one way street. Like. Right. You know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen, where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only, what, as strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally say? You're saying? only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John said right? that all the time. Right? The chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team, and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here. So right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong, too. That link is fortified. Um, and the relationship is the exact same thing. Trust comes into play, too, as a teammate. you got to trust your teammate. because yeah. you know, Then you got to come through on the other end, though. Yeah. You got to follow through. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. And, you know, it kind of goes back to, like, you know, I, we came across this other couple. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, like, the going back to the single people, you know, if you meet somebody. I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really going to work, right? right? You just kind of, it's jump and go. Yeah. Jump and go. Yeah. Jump and go. Go to the yeah. next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right? Just maybe you'd be surprised. Like you would be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm -hmm. 
how many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, yeah. right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day. Terrible. I know, I know. I, we're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, uh-uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes. You're done. So I'm like, um, uh, I mean, I guess I can give them up, you know? <laughs> Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't sure. smell terrible, you know, all day okay. like an ashtray um, because that, that smell smells terrible. Now that I'm not a smoker, I can really smell it. Right. Yes. And now it's not even cool to smoke. Right. Remember back in like 1980, it was kind of actually like it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you can agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying is you would make a change, yep. you know, to be a better person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just mm -hmm. using that as an example mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person or you might see really good good stuff in this person mm -hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with right. sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you know, it's definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> <and> hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm -hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip from me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship-wise. through business. Um, through business you do, because me and Sharice are connected like 24-7. So. Literally, we, I mean, business together and we're together all day. All day. So I mean, so, it, you know, really gotta find that happy medium. You do, you <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll wanna be around that team member all the time. The I know, just so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's gonna be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So make sure you guys are finding <laughs> a good, relationship with a good team member right because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you so uh this is just another great tip and trick from me and sharice we're here every sunday 11 a.m abc cupid's corner and if you can't check it out here make sure you guys are checking out youtube just type in tight medical center we've got all the shows there plus instagram and facebook it's on there too make sure you check it out Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.